May I now request Professor E. V. Sampat Kumaran, Director, TIFR, to address us? Respected dignitaries on the dais, colleagues, invited participants, and members of TIFR family, good morning to everybody. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome all of you for the inaugural function of ICTS TIFR. I particularly appreciate those who have traveled from far off places. At this moment, it is good to recall the history of TIFR, as Bangalore occupies a very special place in its history. As many of you know, Homi Baba on his return to India in the early 1940s actually started his career in Bangalore in IISC and subsequently built up the campus of TIFR in Mumbai. And of course, it flourished and continues to remain a leading national institute of great international repute. Therefore, IISC actually played a very important role in development of TIFR, one should remember, particularly the Bangalore city. In that sense, judged by this past history, with its initial activity in IIC campus, I have no doubt in my mind that ICTS will also flourish and make a mark in the same way, carving a niche for itself in the family of TIFR. At this moment, it is also important to recall that two more centers of TIFR, NCBS and Center for Applicable Mathematics, are also in Bangalore and actually started from IIC campus. They are doing extremely well. We are very proud of those institutions. It, one may note that it took 78 years for Homi Baba to make a magnificent, magnificent building in, in Kolaba, despite its proximity to Pandit Nehru and J.R.D. Tata. In fact, Kolaba campus was inaugurated in 1962 by Jawaharlal Nehru. I was going through the inaugural address of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru when he inaugurated the building of Kolaba, the Kolaba campus. And he was making reference to, particularly to the time it has taken, something like 70, 80 years to make that campus. And you could see he was actually feeling uncomfortable, little helpless. You can read the uh, lines in between, despite the fact that you are the Prime Minister of India. And therefore, I would say that Spenta and his team, Avinash, there should be congratulated that they have really struggled very hard and brought up at the same time without such a very um, thing. <clears throat> so this implies that it is not easy to make an institution of this kind, build an institution of this kind, even in modern times. Of course, stay for as a very strong tradition of opening new activities and new centers from time to time, which are world renowned. And I already mentioned about NCPS and CAM, and of course, Many of you know that you have NCRA with GMR facility in Pune. And um, you also, we also have Hoyoba Science Center for Science Education, North Bombay. And of course, recently, most recently, we have TIF for Hyderabad, inaugurated about five years ago by Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, and now ICTS. So in addition, it nurtured several other activities with which came independent of TIFR subsequently, for example, Samir and the NSTS. So about eight years ago, ICTS was conceived as a center where scientists and mathematicians could come together for meetings and for sustained interactions and collaborations. I recall NSF Natural Science faculty, Spantavadia, made very fervent appeal for this one, and I think Professor Shobhattacharya was the director at that time, and um, it was uh, wanted in fact, the way he started why it's something very special of the center compared to many other theoretical science institutions that is interdisciplinary in its character. And therefore, the interactions here uniquely allows us greater cross vitalization the very important aspect of that, to further our understanding of some of the most outstanding queries, questions of our times, with potential impact on the future of humankind and the growth of and development of India. Today, with its inauguration, we are poised for a new start. The ICTS has already made a name for itself, both nationally and internationally, with a number of high-quality programs and workshops which have drawn some of the leading practitioners from around the world. 
in the pamphlet of ICTS, there's a quote by Spanish poet Antonio Machado, and, and which Spenta Avadia uh, mentions in this one. Quote, for a traveler, there is no road, but the road is made by walking, unquote. So that really tells us how much difficulties one has to face to make an institution of this kind. Therefore, on behalf of TIFR, again, let me repeat again, I would like to ex express hot yet congratulations to Professor Vadia and also to Professor Avinash there, who actually I know that is a backbone of, of Spenta Vadia to develop this center. And there are all other team members, I'm sorry that I missed out many names, for their unstinting efforts to make this wonderful new center. I must also add that the Council of Management has strongly supported the idea of ICTS at the time of its proposal several years ago and continue to do so at your all stages. The state and some governments very heavily backed up this venture. In particular, the support of Department of Atomic Energy, which is responsible for funding, should be placed on record. One should not forget one important historical fact. Actually, the center was proposed during the director for Professor Shobha Bhattacharya, and I'm glad that he is here on the dais. Incidentally, only during his tenure, and the idea of the need to have expand TFR activities and go away from Kolaba campus and expand actually came up during his leadership in TIFR. I would like to thank him. I would like to make a point on this moment. I would like to thank him for that on top of TIFR community. I take this opportunity, of course, to the next director, the Musanzer Burma, who gave tremendous boost to this venture, spending his quality time and effort for the progress of ECTS for the past seven years. And of course, subsequently, Professor Sandeep Trivedi, during his tenure, continued this push. Of course, I've been officiating, I've been officiated as a director, and I must confess that I did nothing, and I'm here to do something to ICTS, except that I got a great opportunity to carry out the pleasurable job of welcoming this August gathering. We in TIFR, therefore, are looking forward to ICTS to play an important and unique role in the future making TIFR and the whole nation proud. Finally, I would like to add that Professor Mustansir Burma, who's, uh, under whose directorship the center has, has been nurtured, is abroad, and he asked me to convey his con congratulations to the staff of ICTS for the hard work to bring up this place to this level and also wishes for its glory in future. With these few words, let me warmly welcome all the participants for the inaugural function, also wishing all the success to ICTS for its activities for many years to come. I'm really honored that I'm occupying the directorship in TIF4. I'm very, very fortunate. And I also get this opportunity to invite you all for the inaugural function of ICTS. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.